Hello learners and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to the over thousand subscribers who have joined the water engineering channel. I'm humbled by your support and on this occasion I extend my warm wishes for a blessed and beautiful new year. In today's video we will delve into the world of valves, exploring the various types used in piping and how to classify them. Let's start off on this trip together. Valves are mechanical devices. They control, direct or regulate the flow of fluid through a pipe. When the valves are open, they allow fluid to flow freely from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. By partially or fully closing, they can reduce or stop the flow altogether. These devices come with a variety of features that make them suitable for specific applications. Valves can perform a number of functions, including initiating or halting the flow depending on the valve's position, managing the flow rate and pressure in a piping system, changing the direction of fluid flow, and regulating the temperature of fluid in a piping system. The most frequently used valve types are gate valves, globe valves, ball valves, check valves, butterfly valves, and plug valves. The most popular kind of valve seen in process facilities are gate valves. A linear path is followed by the closing gate to either obstruct or let fluid passage. Usually they are not utilized to control flow. Instead, they are utilized in the fully open or closed states. A globe valve typically has a spherical body with a stationary ring seat and a moving plug element. The fluid flow is controlled, stopped and started using a globe valve. Globe valves are employed in systems where leak tightness and flow control are both required. A globe valve offers superior shutoff compared to a gate valve. A hollow ball is used by a ball valve to start or stop fluid flow. The valve handle can be used to pivot the perforated ball. The fluid flows through when the ball's hole is pointed at the flow entrance. When compared to gate valves of the same size and rating, ball valves are more compact, lighter, and less expensive. Ball valves are challenging to clean which might result in contamination, and they are not appropriate for applications that need for constant throttle control. A check valve is used to stop backflow. These valves are normally self-activated, opening when media flows through the valve in the desired direction and closing when flow reverses. A butterfly valve is a rotary motion valve with a quarter turn that is used to control, stop and start the flow of fluid. The body of the butterfly valve is short and round. It's an excellent choice for big valve applications because of its lightweight compact design which takes up much less room than other valves. A plug valve is a valve with a quarter turn rotary motion that controls flow by using a tapered or cylindrical plug. The disc has a path for the flow to pass through and is shaped like a plug. For applications involving high pressure or temperature, the plug valve can be used in a vacuum. These valves can be categorized or classified based on function, operation, and end connections. To make sure the valve is appropriate for the required use, it is crucial to take into account each of these categories when selecting a valve. Valves are used in processes to accomplish a variety of tasks. They could be applied to control flow and pressure or to start and stop the flow. Fluid flow can either be totally restricted by isolation valves or unhindered by them. As they may offer inadequate flow control or sustain wear damage over time, it is not advised to use these valves continuously in the partially open condition. Regulation valves are employed for precise pressure and fluid flow control. When a process calls for a partially open or closed condition, these valves can be employed securely and effectively. While some valves are suggested for just one function, others can handle both. The valves mentioned above are categorized in the table below based on how they function. Based on how they are operated, Wells can also be categorized as manual, actuated, or automatic. To manually operate a manual valve, wheels, levers, or chains are frequently used. These wells can be geared mechanically to alter moving direction as well as to speed up or enhance torque. 
Wells are frequently coupled to electric motors, hydraulic systems, or pneumatic systems in high-precision or large-scale applications to enable remote operation and automation of valve performance. Electric motor actuators move the valve stem using reversible electric motors, using a gearing arrangement that enhances torque and slows rotational speed. They were initially intended for on-off applications, but some of them have since been improved for continuous control applications. They are also employed in places where we cannot access compressed air. Hydraulic actuators deliver the force necessary to open a valve using a piston and a pressurized liquid. Actuators that use pneumatics employ air pressure to generate the force necessary to open a valve. They are the most popular types of actuators because of their straightforward construction, reasonable cost, and inherent safety. For the automatic valves. When a certain flow condition is satisfied, some valves automatically open. Check valves, for instance, automatically close in the event of backflow. Similar to this, pressure release valves are activated automatically when an overpressure condition is detected. Finally, end connections can be used to classify valves. Pipes and valves are joined by joints which can be screwed, flanged, or welded. Several popular kinds of valve ends include the end of a pipe or similar fitting is screwed onto the threaded joints of screwed end valves. The majority of valves used in pipelines have ends with a flange design. A junction is created by fastening two flanges together. A flange is a plate or ring that forms a rim at the end of a pipe or a valve. For the valve socket welding, the pipe is placed in a socket and welded. And for the butt weld valve, the ends are beveled to match the pipe's bevel. Wafer and lug end constructions are provided for check welds and butterfly welds. When there is limited room, these kinds of ends are used. Thank you for watching the video. Please let me know if this video was helpful to you by leaving a comment, sharing it, and remembering to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care.